Hello, my name is Angel Solivares, and welcome to Making the Connection in Lancaster. Today we have a very special guest, Norman Bristo Colon, Director of Governor's Advisory Commission on Latino Affairs. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me here, uh, Angel. Uh, it is a great uh, opportunity for us to share with you some of the great things that we have been involved with the Adelante Con Fuerza Lancaster Latino Education Committee. Tell me a little bit about the committee. Like, you know, when was it formed, the purpose and the goals of the committee? Well, the committee was established in 2008 uh, because we saw the need in the Lancaster community to have an education committee that will address some of the critical issues that we are facing as a community, especially when it comes to dropout. Uh, it is too high for, for Latino students in the school district of Lancaster. The low college enrollment rate of Latino students in colleges and universities in the region, mm -hmm. around the state and around the nation, and also the low uh, parental engagement that we have seen uh, within the schools uh, in Lancaster. And also, we wanted to have community members heavily involved in the educational uh, system because it is everyone's business to educate Latino students in Lancaster. And you had uh, the uh, forum in October. Tell us a little bit about that and um, how did the forum turn out for you? Well, this is the, for the third uh, uh, forum that we had. The first one was in 2008, the second one in 2009, and then this is the first one that just took place uh, this past October in 2010. Uh, we had uh, more than 300 people that attended the forum. When you combine uh, the three forums, we have uh, really worked together with over 1,000 wow. people that have attended uh, through the years. Okay, that's excellent, excellent. Um, the, for, the format for the forum, you have it broken down into four components. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the Adelante Con Fuerza Committee, uh, it is extremely important for us if we are really addressing education that we cover all the bases uh, that we will have a successful program by doing so. Right. Uh, the first component, of course, uh, and to me is the most important component, is the Latino, Young Latino Student Leadership Institute, which is an opportunity for Latino students and non-Latino students, because the forum is for everyone. Okay. But this is geared wow. to address the issues of Latino students in the school district. So the Student Leadership Institute is for Latino students inside the school district of Lancaster to develop the skills okay. necessary for them to be successful in school, but also necessary for them to be successful in college and beyond in life. Uh, the second component is the parental engagement component, mm -hmm. which we have a parent, Latino Parents Academy, okay. and it's for Latino parents and parents in general in the district to okay. learn about areas that they can help in making sure that their uh, kids, they are successful academically, they are successful socially, and that they bring good new experiences into the classroom. Uh, the third component is the professional development. You know, we have a very diverse school district. Uh, more than 54% of the student population are Latinos. No. Yet, mm -hmm. we have a very low uh, diverse uh, professionals inside the school district. Even though we are improving that, right. and you can see yes. you know, new Latino principles, we're improving that. The professional development is to help administrators, teachers, staff members inside the district and surrounding areas on how can they better address the issues and concerns that are impacting Latino students and families. Mm -hmm. And that is the professional development. It is a great component because we bring some of the experts in the educational field, uh, okay. national speakers from all over the nation and from all over the states. And then the fourth component, which is the community involvement component. And to us, you know, uh, I don't get tired of saying that we have invested millions and millions and millions of dollars in Lancaster. Right. You know, in the convention center, in the baseball park, the mm -hmm. good, beautiful area that Franklin and Marshall College have been investing, right. you know, and, and you can see the beautification of the city of Lancaster. However, mm -hmm. all those projects will only be successful if the community is involved in making sure that we are addressing the right issues and the right concerns inside Lancaster schools. Yeah. And that's why the community engagement component is so important. Yeah, I can't agree with you more. Um, so the format is working, or do you expect to make any changes for next year's forum? Well, I think, uh, as everything, mm -hmm. when you grow, you right. really have to, to justify to the new times and to the new challenges. 
and to the new proposals that are in the table. Uh, I think that we will move into not only serving exclusively the school right. district of Lancaster, but also serving a school district in the region. And we have about 13 school districts in Lancaster County. Uh, all of them, they are experiencing a large Latino student population growth. Right. You know, Conestoga Valley, yes. Hempfield, uh, Mainham Township. Mm -hmm. And I can keep going and going and going that they are experiencing the same challenges right. that probably the school district of Lancaster faced 20, 30 years ago. And as a community that is here to address the issues and concerns of Latino students, I think that is at the right time for us to expand our service to include other school districts in the area. Right, right. Yeah, I can, I see that. Um, the other thing I want to ask you was, is, are the goals of the committee after three years, do you feel that the goals are being met? Well, I think that we have been extremely successful okay. uh, in, the, in the objectives and the goals, which is, you know, the number one priority is to be a partner mm -hmm. in, in all the efforts that the school board, that the school superintendent, Pedro Rivera, right. have put in place. And I think that we have achieved that. There is a great working collaborative effort. Okay. We have cooperation. Uh, and you see in the district, to the credit of all the district professional, the superintendent and the leadership, that we have been improving yearly mm -hmm. Uh, you see students meeting AYPs. Right. You see a lot more parental involvement inside the school district of Lancaster. You know, recently they had an, an event uh, with, you know, that, that was partly organized by two of our uh, education committee members, Elaine Moreno and Arisleida Calderon, and that right. was like a year ago. Mm -hmm. And you had more than 800 parents attending this event. Wow. So uh, we are seeing good, good positive results. However, you know, we are now where we should be because education mm. is the civil right for Latinos. Mm -hmm. Education is the number one priority for Latinos. If we are ba about changing the dynamics that are keeping our community from moving forward, education mm. must be the number one priority. I uh, can't agree with you more because I know there's a lot of strong support uh, amongst the uh, school district um, at the top. Now, do you feel you're getting strong support in the middle from the teachers in the schools? Well, we are getting, uh, we are getting there. We okay. are getting there. We are making uh, tremendous progress. Okay. And um, especially, you know, when, when we started the committee, mm -hmm. we only had uh, one Latino principal. Today, in the district, we have three Latino principals. So when you see the leadership that right. is uh, heavily involved in everything that we are doing and is supporting, then the teachers, uh, you know, they are really, they will really support all of our efforts. Yeah, because, you know, and, and this is right on cue because, you know, the last report that we're getting now is the Latino student dropout of high school is twice the rate of African Americans and four times the rate of non-Hispanic whites. And this is a very big concern for us and I'm sure for, for you and the committee as well. Well, when you look at, at the demographics, that are changing in the United States today. And you see that all kids under the age of four or five, early childhood education, right. and 25% of those kids are Latinos mm -hmm. Just today in the United States of America. That tells me that 25% of the nation's future, as of today, 2010, is Latino. Okay. So if we are in the business of making sure that we still we are still the vital nation, the economic powerhouse of the world. We have to make sure that we keep educating this young Latino student population so they, right. they can become the leaders of the free world. They can become the engineers, the innovative minds that created yeah. this great nation of ours. Right. You know, that's why if we don't educate Latino children, mm -hmm. We, that, that is a national crisis. It is. That yeah. will not only impact us as a community, but will impact the entire United States of America. Yeah, so how, how do you think we can go about changing these terrible numbers uh, of the dropout rate in the high schools, uh, with, amongst the Latinos especially? Well, I, I think that, you know, when you look at the school districts, um, uh, you know, we have great teachers. Right. Um, we have uh, committed teachers and, uh, and, and individuals, but many times our, our Latino students, they are attending urban schools. Mm -hmm. They are the poorest schools right. in the poorest neighbor, neighborhoods mm -hmm. with the lack of resources that they need to be successful. Right. Well, there have to be uh, an effort put in place 
by elected officials, by the community, by the business community, yeah. that will address the issues that are impacting urban school districts in America. And in this case, the only school district that is an urban school district in Lancaster mm -hmm. County is the school district of Lancaster. Yeah. Uh, our kids, they are doing a lot with little. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to make sure that when we are working together in ensuring that we are changing those numbers, right. poverty is a, the number one issue. Mm -hmm. Even though I strongly believe that it doesn't matter what is your zip code, it right. doesn't matter what are your social circumstances. Mm -hmm. You can be rich or poor. This is sometimes it's a matter of attitude for right. you to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you think the students themselves, do you think that they themselves can bring some answers to this problem of the uh, tremendous amount of um, uh, dropout rate, you know, as far as their input into the school system themselves? Definitely. I think the young minds, because they are the only one that knows Right. What, what is working, what is not working. Right. What do they need in the classroom, inside the classroom, that will motivate them, first, to stay in school. Mm -hmm. And secondly, not only to stay in school, but also to be successful in school. So I think that we, we need to have a collective effort in including our young uh, Latinos and non-Latinos. Right. You know, we need to include the youth mm -hmm. in all aspects that at the end of the day will directly impact their lives and their future. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you a couple other questions off topic. Um, you know, we know you've served with the governor for, how, how long have you been in the office with the governor serving under him? Over seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Wow. Okay. And we know that that's coming to an end soon. Um, and there's a lot of people that want to know what's Norman going to do next and whatnot. Uh, is there anything you can share with us today about your future plans? Well, I think uh, that the future uh, is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I am so confident that uh, the work that we have been able to do in Pennsylvania for the past uh, seven years uh, will, will speak loud mm -hmm. of our strong commitment uh, in improving the social, educational, economic, and political conditions of Latinos, not only in Lancaster, not only in PA, but all over the nation. Uh, and I am very excited about the future. Uh, okay. You know, we, we are going to be working on many national and international efforts okay. that I am not uh, uh, able to really explain yeah. at this moment. I understand. But I, I am really, you know, I am really excited. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, thanks to the work of, of individuals like you uh, and many individuals in Lancaster that have provided me the support through the years because remember that I got into this office very young Yes. and now I leave this office if mm -hmm. I leave because right. it's still in the work uh, as a completely different person, right. a new man uh, and I attribute everything that I, I have been successful inside the governor's Latino commission first and foremost to the uh, leadership of the Latino community that have always supported right. everything that I have proposed them uh, yeah. to do in changing uh, the dynamics that have impacted the Latino community in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and you've done such an excellent job uh, in doing that. And there's so many people proud of your accomplishments. And I know there's a lot of people that have selfish feelings. You know, they, they, they want you to do well, they want you to, to move and grow, but they don't want you to leave the area. When you start talking national, you know, they start, oh, uh, we're going to lose Norman. Um, one of the other questions that comes up is, um, uh, the Adelante Con Fuerza, you're the co-chair, and you've done an excellent job there uh, in driving this committee to where it's at and growing it. Um, would you continue to serve on that committee well, in I, the future? I think that this is uh, Adelante Con Fuerza, uh, and I, I, will, I will take the liberty okay. of mentioning that uh, we are so glad and so proud that you are also a member right. of Adelante Con Fuerza. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that the committee is very strong. Yes. Uh, uh, and it has been always my business that if I am going to be working in any initiative, in any program, that in the process I will be able to assist others in developing their leadership potential. Okay. Because nobody can think that they are not replaceable. We are all yeah. replaceable. Absolutely. And I think that the true leadership is when you engage others and you empower others. So they take the organization to the next level. Yes. Uh, and I think 
uh, that Adelante is ready. You know, if if I stay uh, serving as co-chair, you know, mm -hmm. it is it is an awesome opportunity. It is my right. biggest mission in life mm -hmm. to work on education because that is my passion. But other, you know, in addition to that, I think that we have capable minds that can yeah. really take the committee to the next. It level. is a strong committee, and I'm proud to be a part of that committee. Um, and I can only see good things coming in the future. Um, but you're such a visionary, and you know you see things long before we we do. And it's it was always nice to have you there and to make sure that uh, you know that we were crossing uh, the T's and dotting the I's. Mm -hmm. uh, and you were always excellent in, in, as far as that's concerned. Um, I want to thank you today, Norman. Um, you know, it's, it's, it was an honor for me to have you here today. Um, I also would like to thank the viewers. Uh, because you know, without them, you know, these programs are, are not possible. Uh, and, and I look for big things from you in the future. Thank you, thank you. And, and I think that is that is important for the viewers also to know that Absolutely. that you and I we share a very uh, a strong connection Absolutely. to the island of Puerto Rico. Because yes. both of the, both of us from or our families are from Guayama. Guayama, yes. <laughs> yeah, we have a, we have a lot of common interests, and uh, you know. Um, both Steeler fans, right? Uh, Penn State. Uh, so you know, I've enjoyed my my uh, 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 my tenure as far as you know some of the projects that I've worked on and that you've been a part of. Uh, and I appreciate your help and your leadership. Uh, you know, I always consider you as a mentor, and I look forward to continuing that uh, relationship with you. Yes, and, and I think that we can also, uh, you know, talk about the first Thursday Latino. Absolutely, which is another great, uh, you know, opportunity for us. Yes, uh, to to engage. Um, it, first Thursday Latino is a networking for professionals mm -hmm. uh, here in the region in Lancaster. Uh, it is a sense of great pride for me when I sent out the the information about First Thursday Latino. Yes, and I have a a, a list. Of more than 300 Latino professionals. Yeah. You know, because in the past, <laughs> every time I would recommend, you know, why don't you hire Latino for this position, for yes. that position? The the excuse was, we don't, you don't have Latino professionals in that area. Right. Well, that is no longer the case. <laughs> yeah. I think that we are very well represented in all aspects of American life. I remember. Uh, yeah. And I think it's a great sense of pride. It, it is a truly a success story. I remember when, when you first started, I think it was like 25 people there. Yes. You know, and I've been to events where we've had two to 300 people attending, and, and the uh, diversity uh, is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, a lot of those things wouldn't happen without your leadership. So I hope that, uh, you know, that continues and that more leaders come up through the ranks and, and continue your work. Because like you say, you know, you, you can start the path, but others sometimes have to continue the journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, with that, I would like to, uh, in closing, uh, like I said, thank Norman for coming in today and speaking to us. Um, and for the uh, viewers, thank you for watching. And uh, please stay tuned because we have more interesting topics coming up in the weeks ahead.